Lee, do you have anything? I saw something earlier. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, when Tim was praying, like, closer at the beginning of the meeting. Okay. I saw, um, uh, it was like I was looking up, and I could see two birds. I couldn't tell what kind of birds they were. You could only really see their silhouettes. But it was like they were, they were like gliding through the air, uh -huh. uh, moving very quickly to where you could like see mm. almost like light coming off of them. Okay. But they didn't have to flap their wings, hmm. um, which was what was interesting to me. That they were just, mm -hmm. just slide over. Mm -hmm. They were just, just showed up. Yeah, like <laughs> well, well, they they didn't have to to work. They were they didn't have to flap oh, their wings. They okay. were, but their motion was still just very quickly. Uh -huh. And then the other thing that I saw. What a kind of word. I couldn't tell because oh. it was just their silhouettes. Silhouette. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that I saw was <clears throat> it was like a like a canvas bag, and um, okay. it was being yeah, held yeah. up. Okay. Well, you couldn't see it being held up, but it was. I could see it, you know, up. And uh, the bottom of it was cut off, and then just all this like. I couldn't tell what the substance was, but all this stuff just fell out of the bag. I don't know if it was like dirt or um, it was it was just like the like dirt was kind of not like good stuff in the sense. Not, That's not kind of what I got. Stuff. Yeah, okay. it was yeah that it wasn't like a good. trash stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Team, have any understanding about? Mm. Um, <clears throat> in the canvas bag, and the it's kind of like a a burlap bag, you know, and the and it's it's a rough strong mm. type of bag the for whole travel bag. basically for, for outdoor thing right so, yeah i don't know was this more like an agricultural type bag it wasn't super super clear but when you said burlap that that almost resonated even more than mm. than canvas that's just like a an earthly um container you know so mm. there's a cutting off and a, a mm. removal or emptying out of all the the, the stuff of the earth. Mm. 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 The word I heard was, in regard to that, was the, a, a burden. A burden. That, oh. that, that bag was full of and mm. was itself a burden. Mm. Mm. Yes. Um, Excuse me. I'll yeah. do my best. Um, do your best. Okay. So this is something that I've seen a couple of I've I've seen before. Um, uh, this was the mountain that I had seen before that was in the dark. Um, but I saw it in a light this time. And it was huge. It was just massive, massive mountain. And it had a snow peak. And below in the valley were just a ton of like pine trees, beautiful green trees, and a road that led up to this mountain. Um, and then three significant things that I saw happening on this mountain were, um, first, I saw a train going up the mountain. And I have seen this train before once. I had a vision um, for Cheryl, I think a long time ago when she used to live here. Mm. Um, it was about a train in a, in a snowy area, but it was going straight along this, alongside the mountain. Um, this train was going up the mountain, mm. sort of spiraling up to the top. Mm. So that was one of the things. The second thing I saw was that I believe this mountain was meant to be living just because it looked like it was breathing. Um, so the, the mountain itself was meant to be alive, I believe. Mm. Uh, but there was a falling off of this mountain. There was like on the right side of it, 
you could see that it was coming apart and like almost one part of it almost looked like it exploded a little bit and then other parts were just kind of breaking off mm. and inside were just light shining it was just light shining out of the mountain mm. and that was on the right side of the mountain mm. um the train going up sort of up the middle and then on the left side the bottom mm -hmm. this was what was strange um I'm trying to figure out how to explain it it was a bunch of i believe humans and creatures that were translucent they were not they were clear they were invisible almost but i could see them but they were not they were just translucent mm. um and they were at the bottom and you can see tons of hands sort of grasping for this mountain they were trying i don't know if they were doing trying to get up um just tons and tons of hands and then you would see like one human man climb up out of the people like and, and scale the wall of the mountain like climb up it and he was still translucent and animals too there were animals there too doing the same thing mm. uh, i saw a tiger for sure a tiger for sure um and when they reached a certain point of this mountain they became no more longer translucent they became like uh, you know in color and whatever and then they would continue to climb the mountain mm. and that is that was it mm. Mm. wow that's something that's amazing <laughs> hey bye we should be encouraged by all these things yes so real Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, it is a bless we have in Nicole here today. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for her gift. Thank you that you speak loud and clear through her mm. about the thing you've been showing to us, Lord, and affirming the thing that has been shared today, even, Lord. In her mind, she might able not able to reconcile the thing that in this region, putting the thing we shared. But Lord, it's a perfect intuition, the things I know and understood, Lord. Lord, thank you for the train has been riding out, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I think the three sections mean the three dealings of God in this parallel time in pertaining to the work as a kingdom. On the right side, explosion will be the world. Like he will suddenly the mountain will be, you know, the light will going to burst it out. So there is a huge revelation to the existence and the brilliance, the glory of the mountain God to the world. The second way is the Sun Company, I believe, the old rather brother company, whatever it is. You know, one in the train as to tell me the discipleship and to. The third is talking about the people who are spiritual people, or spiritual creation, or creation long to ascend to the mountain of the Lord. So they will have a transformation process. So, mm -hmm. but interesting enough, they have to scale on their own. In a sense, there will be a scattered movement, um, struggling process. So. Their mind don't have a lot of understanding of the orderly way of the discipleship, the culture of the kingdom. It will be individual walk in a sense. So individually, God will do things, you know. So, but I think uh, our calling is very clear: is is the train rising up to the snow cap. So, hmm. uh, scanning the wall is not rising up the snow cap. Interesting. So, I was just speaking about the scatteredness will have limitations in attaining understanding of the will of the Lord. So, I hope I'm making sense, you know, so we can see the three parallel dealings of God when His kingdom manifest will have an effect because the people are, the, the, you know, the different in God's uh, work in the, in the, as, as the targets work rather so that's all I